Under the microscope you can see something remarkable. This Aelozola worm is growing a new head right in the middle of its body. Soon the two halves will separate and each will crawl away as an independent worm. Aelozoma can reproduce quite quickly this way. Within a short time, there are hundreds or even thousands of worms formed by division. They are all genetically the same. You can see similar things in microorganisms. Protozoans divide as well. One cell splits in half and suddenly there are two. Very soon there are thousands of them. And that's where it becomes strange. Our ideas of individuality, of being one specific living thing, simply don't fit here. For these organisms, the concept of an individual doesn't really apply. During division, a new worm forms from part of the old one. Both are genetically identical and parts of the original body continue in each. Nothing disappears. Life simply continues in two directions. Even if the worm is cut in two, each part can grow again, the tail forms a new head and the head grows a new body. We tend to think of them as separate beings, each going its own way. But maybe that's just our perspective. If all of these worms are genetically the same and keep dividing, perhaps we should not view them as being separate at all. Maybe we should see them as fragments of a larger living system. Like the cells in our own bodies, they form a network of shared origin and function. The death of one worm isn't the end of an individual, but more like the loss of a single cell within a much larger living whole. What looks like many could, in another sense, still be one. Life at this level isn't about maintaining a concept of a self. It's about keeping the process going, splitting, renewing and continuing. The dividing worm reminds us that identity is a human idea, a way to make sense of the world, though nature doesn't always play by those rules. When you look closely enough, even a simple worm raises questions that reach far beyond biology. Maybe that's the real value of observation. It doesn't just show us life, it reflects our own way of understanding it. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this look into the hidden world, feel free to explore some of my other videos. There's always something new to discover under the microscope. Thanks for watching and as always, happy microbe hunting.